all right guys welcome back so we are doing another scary videos reaction this one as you can see by the title the top 10 scariest ghost videos that will make you spell badly like we just don't get enough of this don't we we just keep going through all this you know horrific experiences <laughs> couldn't even sleep last night like <laughs> hope y'all enjoy it because we're going through terror Nightmares, bad dreams. <laughs> hey, Gully. Hey, whatever. It's fun. Anyways, so that top 10 scary ghost videos, I'll make you spell badly. Let's go. Was shared to the internet without a source. The footage appears to have been recorded by a CCTV camera inside a restaurant while the staff is finishing up work and cleaning up for the night. What happened? You know, also guys, real quick, if you enjoy the video, like it, you know, subscribe to the channel. We'll be doing a lot of scary ghost videos. We'll be doing a lot of the game videos on the gaming side. Um, these, these are fun. I like them. So, right there, you can subscribe to the channel, like the video. It helps us out a lot. I appreciate it. Happens next is shocking. What a mop bucket. I was like, what, what, what's shocking? They're actually cleaning? What's so shocking about that? Okay. A mop and a bucket can be seen sliding across the restaurant floor Ooh. by itself. But most horrifying of all, some kind of invisible force violently grabs the waitress by her hair and pulls her backwards out of frame. Now, without a source, we don't know what happened next. But I'm imagining lots of screaming and running. Can you imagine? Oh, dear. A couple of young hunters are out scouting the countryside for deer. They search and film through a camera with a long range lens. Damn. When suddenly the hunter catches something that is just weird. Was the giant deer? Them. All right. How do you Look, track them? There's two more black dogs. Right Cody, how do you turn oh, this on? Uh, oh, what the crap? Is that a guy? That ain't no what man. The frick? What the f <laughs> what was that? Skinwalker. Walking, walking, uh, dude, that was a skinwalker. What? Follow him. I videoed it. I videoed it. Uh, <laughs> what the frick? I'm, just, I'm gonna get my. <laughs> that was a skinwalker. No. Even in the distance and with the bad video quality, it is obvious that some strange, oh. large, misshapen figure seems to be chasing the deer and oh running God. at an dude, inhumanly like fast ground, speed. Huh? The unidentified figure looks humanoid in shape, but what appears to run on all fours like an animal. The guys are confused and laugh it off, but are baffled by what they just captured. The hunters still have no idea what they filmed to this day. Is that the little big Through the eyes of a child. <laughs> Early one evening in Louisiana, Mallory Weber is taking a fun video of her son Cashton when something unexpected happens that absolutely chills her. Cheese! Cheese! <laughs> what you doing? Oh no. What you see? Dear Baba. What? Baba. What you see? Hi. Uh uh, who are you saying hi to? Who are you saying hi to? Dude, you need to stop that. You're freaking me out. Come on. The little boy appears to see someone standing inside Mallory's bedroom. Someone he calls Paw Paw. Freaked out by his behavior, Mallory quickly walks over to the bedroom to look inside. But there's no one there. Baffled by what just happened, she posts her video to TikTok where it quickly spreads and is watched by millions. Her comment section is flooded with questions, so she decides to answer a few in two more videos. There's really not much of a backstory, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just videoing him being cute and saying cheese and then that happened. Um, 
never happened before. Both his grandpas are still alive. It's my grandpa and my husband's grandpa that both passed away like a year ago. Um, he did meet both of them. Uh, they never lived in my house before. That bedroom was me and my husband's bedroom. I'm trying to think of all the questions because I want to answer all y'all. Um, I don't know. That's about it. That's it's never wild, happened before, bro. so that's why I was telling him to stop and that it was freaking me out because I didn't know how to respond. It never happened yeah, and it was there freaking so fast, me out. Bro. Uh, that's about it. Who's Papa? Um, Papa could be my grandpa or my husband's grandpa because they both passed the same year. Um, both of my son's grandpas are both alive. I don't know if you call them grandpas, papas, grandfather, I don't know, but we call them papa. That's how they are down here. That's what we call them. I hope that answered your question. I don't know. So could it be that oh, the yeah, boy saw the spirit of one of his parents' grandfathers? Grandpa. Or what do you think is going on here? Let me know. In another video, this time from Georgia, proud mother Christy is home alone with her two-year-old son Levi when he too sees something that his mother just can't see. Are they gonna get the hint? You gotta get out of that Where's house. your favorite place to go? What do you see? I see something behind her. I see something behind her. You know, You see what? A bad thing. A bad thing? A bad thing. Negative. What does it look like? A ghost. A ghost? It is one. No, no, there's no ghost. No ghosts here, ghosts be gone. I wanna see you, aren't you? Uh, mommy, clean my room. It's not sad in my room. Oh, it's not say. scary in your room? <laughs> well, you need to stop acting weird. It's sad in you. It's not scary in here. I saw everything floating in the air. There's a scary thing floating? <laughs> Where? The hat. Baby, there's nothing there. No, there's not. <laughs> yes, there Stop is. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Little Levi appears to see something that he describes to be a, quote, bad thing. Oh, my God. A, quote, ghost. And a, quote, scary floating thing. He urges his mother to go to his room where, in his words, it's not scary. After the shock wears off a little, Christy seems to kind of believe him. And she follows her son into his room. Look, it's kind of scary. Clean my room. Try to clean mommy. Clean my room. Think it's scary. Oh my god, he's like looking right oh, at me. Clean it. my room. Uh, mommy, cover me. Okay. Cool. Mommy, cool. Saw a ring. Mommy, mommy, Nothing scary. Now it's Bro, worth no mentioning way. that Christy's TikTok page is completely dedicated to cute videos of her son, but none of them have anything to do with the paranormal, except these two. Oh, so could little Levi really be seeing a ghost? Something that's scary enough for him to warn his mother and guide her to safety? Let me know what you think. I think they need to get we out of there. We need scary videos. So if you see a scary video that you think would be great on the top five, email us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The Inheritance. This next TikTok user might seem familiar to you as we've featured the beginning of his story on Nukes Top 5 before. Now Jacob says that he inherited his grandmother's house after she passed away and he now lives in the old home. While cleaning out his grandmother's belongings, he finds a creepy old antique jester doll. Jacob feels eerily drawn to the strange doll and decides to keep it, sitting it on top of a bureau in his bedroom. It was a very bad idea. One night, Jacob is woken up by the sound of knocking coming from his bedroom closet. Oh, hell no. Do you hear his breathing? Oh yeah, 
open it. See you guys? I ain't doing this. Yeah, you're mine. Trip. Oh my god. Soon after posting this horrifying video, Jacob just sort of disappeared from Dude. the internet. Now it's nearly seven months later, and seven Jacob months, is bro? back. He says he's been busy slowly renovating the house and has now moved the Jester doll into its own room. Jacob says that for seven months, nothing really happened. But then late one night, Jacob is again woken up by a strange sound. What happens next is chilling. I just heard banging. Hears loud banging coming from the room next to his, the room where he keeps the jester doll. He gets up to investigate but finds All nothing right, out of the ordinary. But then he hears loud footsteps coming up the staircase right behind him. The door to the doll's room slowly swings open, and when he turns around, the doll now seems to be staring at him. Mm -mm. Jacob's absolutely freaked out and decides to move the doll once again, but this time he leaves it all the way down in the basement. After everything that's happened, he decides to buy a security camera to keep an eye on the creepy doll. And that might have been a mistake, because just days after putting the Jester doll down in the basement, things start to happen that are absolutely terrifying. Are you serious right now? Yo, it's like looking right at you. Strange shadows can be seen moving around the creepy doll, and TikTok viewers swear that they can see one of the doll's eyes moving. Oh my god. But that's not all that bush. Jacob's security camera captures. What happens next is pure nightmare fuel. Honestly, like what? 
Yo, come on, bro. I'm not gonna be able to sleep again. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, bro. It's so loud in here. Damn. Dolls arm moves by itself just before the basement light bulb shatters. Then in a later video, the camera is pushed over without explanation. Jacob now believes he might have inherited a seriously haunted house and doll, and is getting increasingly more freaked out as each night passes. He doesn't want the doll anywhere near him and will continue to keep it in the basement. What? You can follow Jacob's paranormal captures over on his TikTok page, The Clown Doll 5. Oh my God. What waits below? Paranormal investigators Jeff, Phil, and Mark from the YouTube channel Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations explore the Kelvin and Hatch nuclear bunker in England. In the early 1950s, the bunker was built 125 feet underground and was intended to be the center of operations for the UK if there was ever a nuclear attack. The entrance to the massive structure is hidden inside an otherwise very normal looking cottage in the middle of nowhere and surrounded by woods. Visitors and staff have often reported seeing multiple apparitions inside the bunker walls. An old lady is often seen wandering the hallways. A female Royal Air Force officer in uniform is said to appear and shout at visitors to get out. And finally, a male officer known as Charles allegedly wanders the areas on the second floor. The bunker was decommissioned in 1992 and is now a museum. The Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations team plans to spend the entire night underground in the bunker as they attempt to capture evidence of the alleged ghostly sightings. Now the Kelvin bunker has three levels, and the investigators find themselves on the top floor passing through the dormitories. On a previous investigation of the Kelvin Hatch nuclear bunker, Lead investigator Jeff says that he experienced a completely unnerving paranormal experience in this very room. Yo, when do anyone listen? That's you, Jeff. Jeff. You're alright. That made you jump. It made me jump. I got touched on my arm. <laughs> in there. Right next. What? Hello? Did you just touch me? Bro, I'd run And so now, fast. years later, Jeff and his team are back again, alone inside the same dormitory room and in pitch black darkness once again. The guys do their investigation and then decide to leave the dorms, but it did not go well. We finish the session in the dormitories, and as we try to leave, the door will not open as if it's been held from the other side. I try to open the door, pulling as hard as I can, but the door will not open. Maybe because you're supposed to push. <laughs> Imagine. Who's holding that door? Can you imagine it? It's so dark they can't see it. It says pull instead of. Or it says push instead of pull. Dude, if a face pops up right there, dude, I'm out of here. Is that him? Or that Can him? we come out, please? Or it? We want to come out now. Thank you. Imagine the door just unlocks. No way. That's fucking weird. There's nothing wrong with that door now. 
Hmm. The dormitory exit door seems to be held shut by some unknown force. But then, after a polite request, it suddenly just opens with ease. Jeff says that it felt like someone was holding the door shut on the other side. Now, this is where things take a very creepy turn. Oh my God. After a long night of investigating, the team heads off to bed. Bill is preparing to lay down inside the dormitories when, unbeknownst to him, their static camera captures something chilling. Oh, Phil good. arranges his bed. There is no one else on this level at this time. And as he climbs into his bunk bed, a figure which moves at great speed passes the window at the far end. You can see the dark hair and a white shirt as it passes by. An unknown figure passes by the same door that was held shut by something earlier. The Ghost Tech team says that no one else was on this floor at this time and the entrance to the bunker was locked shut. Also, it goes without saying that this small, dark-haired figure certainly doesn't look like any of the Ghost Tech team. So just who or what is this? You can watch this investigation with even more spooky moments over on the YouTube oh, channel, damn. Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations. I ain't watching Miss that again. Nuke's top five viewer, Luke Hosea, reached out to me about a very strange event that took place in broad daylight on the street in front of his home in Leicestershire, England. Hmm. The spooky and baffling moment was caught by his family's CCTV camera. Oh, God. No, it's not showing anything. It's not a very clear picture. Um, what? It's quite shiny. A bizarre bright light that resembles fire seems to appear out of nowhere behind the cars. Luke says that neither he or his family have any idea what these fire. strange fireballs fire. could be. There are no electrical lines and no telephone lines running above this particular area. So I leave it up to you. What do you think this strange ball of light is? I'm stumped, so let me know. Hmm. The Waving Woman. Paranormal way. investigators Pete and Dan from the YouTube channel Night Watchers Paranormal Australia set out to investigate the allegedly haunted Mapleton Cemetery in Australia. Dang. The story goes that over the years, many people have witnessed the eerie apparition of a woman crossing the road next to the cemetery. They say that the mysterious woman waved at them and then seemed to disappear right before their eyes. Dan and Pete begin their investigation by setting up two static cameras one recording in night vision mode. As the investigators are still deploying several motion sensors around the graveyard, their night vision camera captures something truly bizarre. They are nuts. Although I guess I'm kind of crazy because I always wanted to do investigations too. Dude, like, literally walked, like, right by him. Oh, it, A like, dark, shadow-like figure can be seen quickly darting from right to left across the cemetery grounds. Now, whatever it is, the figure is dense enough that it actually blocks out the light of Pete and Dan's flashlight mm -hmm. as it passes right behind them. The two investigators don't hear or see anything at the time, and they only discover what they captured later when reviewing their footage. So could it be that the mysterious waving woman made an appearance? Or let me know what you think this is. You can watch this entire investigation and many more over on the YouTube channel, Night Watchers Paranormal Australia. That's creepy. Amber's State Hospital. All right guys, top three. So these next two videos were posted to YouTube a long time ago and nothing in either video was intended to show anything supernatural. In fact, both videos were posted by urban explorers who have never posted a single paranormal video ever. 
on some sharp-eyed Nukes Top 5 viewers watched these videos and noticed something strange that was missed. The first video was sent in by Nukes Top 5 viewer Macy Asher. The video was recorded way back in 2003 by a guy named Dave who was filming inside the infamous old Denver State Hospital. The Denver's Hospital was an insane asylum built back in 1874. Eventually, it was discovered that patients were being subjected to horrible treatment and abuse at the hands of the hospital staff. That's messed up. Denver State Hospital was closed and abandoned in the 1990s. It goes without saying that the huge empty structure was said to be extremely haunted. So Dave is exploring the basement while recording everything on an old analog camcorder. Dave doesn't know it, but he captures something truly bizarre. Oh no, 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 I see now. Did you see it? Yeah. A dark figure can be seen moving inside a doorway. Now, Dave has never said that what was captured was anything paranormal. In fact, he's never even saw the figure. Was it normal? And the footage is over 20 years old. But a paranormal. watchful Nukes Top 5 viewer spotted this creepy figure, and I'm not sure what it is. Could it be that Dave accidentally captured the spirit of a Danvers Hospital patient? We'll never know. Because Danvers Hospital was torn down in 2007 and replaced by luxury apartments. Jeez. Seems like a scary place to live. School spirit. This next video was sent in by Nuke Stop 5 viewer Ethan Sheely who together with his brother used to explore abandoned places in North Carolina and upload their footage to YouTube. But since then, Ethan has moved away from home, so no more exploring. One night, Ethan is feeling a bit nostalgic about the old explorations with his brother and takes a look back at their old videos. In a video where he is exploring an abandoned 1950s middle school, he spots something that he had never noticed before. Oh my god. Yo. Did you see it? At the end of a hallway, a dark figure can be seen stepping out of a doorway and then disappearing right back inside. Oh my god. Ethan explains that he and his brother explored every single inch of the building that day, and they didn't find any squatters or homeless people in the building. So he has no idea who or what this could be. Hell's Kitchen. All right, guys. This next spooky video from Krugersdorp, South Africa, was shared to Reddit by user PuzzleHeadedSnow23. The footage shows a woman Here taking is. a tour through an empty apartment recording each room as she goes. But it seems that there might be something else inside the apartment with her. Oh, lovely. Unidentified figure can be seen walking through a door and just passing through the kitchen. Overalls? Reddit user Puzzle Hooded Snow 23 claims that the filmer didn't notice whoever or whatever this is. So is this strange footage proof of the paranormal? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? Think, I'm you right you now, decide. I don't know what I Thanks so much for watching. As always, my schedule is weird, so please hit subscribe and also hit the little bell notification icon so you never miss a video. Follow me on the socials if you've got some random comments because most of the time I answer. All right, guys, that was intense. Number one, oh my God. Can you, I can't even like, look at this, man. Just like, look at all the eyes looking at me. Like, what's going on, bro? Damn.
We're not sleeping tonight. I know we're not. Again, let me know what you guys think. If you like the video, sub, ring the bell. So you don't miss any more of these videos that make me not sleep at night anymore. So, hit that notification. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. That was freaky as hell.